Hey guys, Barbara here. Let me show you how to use and insert images in Google Docs. We live in an information-rich age where we're used to seeing images all around us. This has changed the way we process information in many ways. Having visuals in a document is so important as it helps you to represent your text through imagery. In Google Docs, you can use Google's image search straight from within the tool, which gives you access to hundreds of pictures without ever having to leave the document. Let's have a look. You can insert images from the image icon that appears on your toolbar, or alternatively, from the Insert menu above. Both of these will give you the same options. The first option on this menu is to upload an image from your computer. If you select this option, your device's filing system will open and you can select the image you would like to upload. The next option you have is to search the web for images. When you select this option, Google's image search will launch. From here, you can search for the image or category that you are looking for. Google search results will open with images that have been labeled for reuse with modification. Select the image you would like to insert and either drag and drop it into the dock or if you would like to select more than one, select all the images and choose to insert. When you select the image in your document, you will notice little resizing blue squares appear around the image. Use these squares to resize the image. Always resize an image from the corners and never from the top, bottom or sides as that will change the proportions of the image. When the image is selected, you will see the options appear of how the image should behave around the text in the document. Here, you can choose to have the image in line, to wrap the text or to break the text. If you are looking to have your text fit around the image, simply wrap the text. You will now be able to drag that image and move it around the document. The text will reposition around it. The margin options that you see here will adjust the distance around the image. Having a smaller margin will bring the text closer to the image, and a larger margin will move the text further away from the image. If you have found the position you would like your image to be in, you are able to fix this position from the option that appears. This will ensure that your image behaves and stays in place. Now that you have seen how to move images, let's continue to explore some of the other options for inserting images into Google Docs. From your inserting options, you can choose to insert images from Drive, Google Photos, by a URL, or from your device's camera. Next, we will explore inserting images from Google Drive. When you select Google Drive, your drive will open. You can navigate to My Drive or Shared Drives to find the exact image you are looking for. Alternatively, you can simply use the search bar at the top and you will be able to search the contents of your drive. This is really handy as it helps you to find things quickly. This is why naming conventions are so important. It ensures that you can find anything by simply searching for it. Select the image you are looking for and choose to insert. That image will now appear inside your Google Doc. Resize the image and adjust it accordingly. You have a few additional formatting options that you can use with the images in your documents. This toolbar over here will change its behavior based on what you have selected. Notice how it changes when I select an image. You are now able to give the image a border by choosing the border color, adjusting the weight of the border, and if you would like, you can even adjust the border into a dashed border. There may be times when the image that you have inserted needs some of the image to be cropped off. To do this, you can either double click on the image or use the little crop icon that appears when you select the image. Drag the bits of the image out that you do not want to have visible and your image will be cropped. For me, this image is looking a little far away. If you would like to zoom into a section of your image, double click on the image and, using the little blue squares that appear on the image, drag it bigger. It will resize the image into your cropped section. When you are done, you will not see the bit that has been shaded out. This way, you are able to bring the attention to the exact part of the image that you would like your audience to focus on.
From this toolbar at the top, you have a few more image options. The side panel that has opened will allow you to adjust the size and rotation of the image. Here, you have some additional text wrapping options available. If you need to, you can also differentiate the margin sizes around the image. The next option is to recolor the image. Google has a few interesting options available. These can be used when you want to give your image a little drama with a splash of color. However, if the image you inserted simply needs a little pop of color, you are able to adjust the image so that it is a little brighter, making it stand out a bit more on the page, as well as change the contrast. There you go, that looks better. If you need your image to be transparent, you can do this from here too. The last thing we are going to look at is a really handy feature where you are able to replace an image. There will definitely be times when you want to reuse a document as you liked how you formatted it. Doing this can save you a lot of time with the ability to simply replace an image. Let's see why. Select the image you would like to replace and from the drop down menu choose where you would like your new image to be found. Find the image you would like to use and select replace. Your new image will now appear in its place. Adjust it to look sharp and just like that you are on the start to a new document. There are times where you may find yourself needing to layer images or create complex diagrams. Google has a solution for this. In Google Docs, you have the ability to create and embed Google Drawings straight into Google Docs. Check out our video to learn how to do this.